In this lesson, I'd like to talk to you about the indent feature. The indent feature requires multiple bodies. Let's work through a simple case first and then create a more complex case. Just create any new part from your Infinite Skills SolidWorks part template. Make a simple part from a rectangular sketch, extrude it as a solid to be fairly thin. Now, on the face of this part, extrude a cylinder so that it interferes with the initial sheet that you created. Make sure to turn off the Merge Result option. Now, let's start the Indent feature. You'll find it under Insert, Features, Indent. The target body is the body that you want to make a change to. So I'll select this. And the tool body region is the area of the tool body that you want to deform your initial part. And that would be this. Keep it on the Keep Selections option and don't turn on the cut. In the Clearance box, key in 0.1. And then come in and have a look. You'll notice that the preview sits at some distance away from the actual tool body. Click on the green check and you'll see this more clearly. So the tool body, if we can use color to help us out here, applying a color of red to the tool body and leave the target body gray. Notice that what's happened is that the tool body has pushed into the target body, leaving a gap or a clearance around the tool. This could be used in many different ways, such as creating a plastic enclosure around a set of electronics, or putting a cover over a motor, or, as we're going to show next, a little more creative method. Let's open up a part from the SolidWorks Advanced Working Files. In this folder, you will find a folder called Engine. Open that up, sort for top level assemblies, and double click on the Engine for Motion. The Engine for Motion has two sets of components that were created using the indent feature. Let's take a look at one of them. The intake manifold was created using indent. The arms of the manifold must be hollow to allow the passage of air to go through, and that port has to go into the rest of the engine. So let's take a look at this part by itself. Click on it and click the open part. Let's roll back and see how the part was created. We started first with a main block. I'll turn this on so we can see it. And from there, we created the airways for the inlet. Each one of these bodies just represents the air inside the intake. It doesn't represent the actual metal around the air. This boss extrude 2 represents the plate through which the intake manifold is mounted onto the engine. And so the indent features use the air to indent the plate. Let's show how that works. Under Insert, Features, Indent, the target body is the plate, and the tool body region is this area. Notice that SolidWorks puts a thickness around the air. We're going to set the clearance to zero because the air will touch the sides of the manifold but we're going to change the thickness to an eighth of an inch. The indent feature can use multiple bodies, but in this case, adding the third one causes it to fail. So we'll just do this one at a time. So let's start the indent feature by going to insert again, features, indent, target body is the plate, tool body, region is the part that we want covered with metal and accept enter target 
tool. And in this case, it's not working. We make the thickness a little smaller on this. I have a feeling we're having a problem down in here. So that's how the indent feature works. And if we hide this body, hide the air bodies, then we can take a cross section. We can take a section through this part and see into the hollow interior. This may be an unconventional use for the indent feature, but it was very effective. It has some similarities with the shell feature when you use the shell outward option.